Touchdown on the moon early this morning. Cedar Park based Firefly Aerospace landed on the lunar surface. It's the first successful landing by a private company. KXN's senior science reporter Eric Hendrickson was there for the cheers and tears. Blue ghost descends, snorting fire with a hiss. A contact tenderly made with an endless cosmic kiss. Words from a poet setting the tone for a historic event. The landing of Blue Ghost 1, a lunar lander built in Central Texas on the moon. I feel good. It's, it's, been, a, it's been a great night and, and a long journey. Kevin Schultes is one of the hundreds of Firefly Aerospace employees behind the project. You can imagine feeling every possible motion all at once. That's about what it felt like. You know, somewhere, somewhere pigging the spectrum on you know, extreme anxiety and extreme joy. All, all in one moment. I, I feel incredible. I think the team feels incredible. It's, it's been years of work and to just see it go so well. Ray Allensworth was among those in the control room. She said that one of the most surprising things about the event, how smooth it all went. We had several different scenarios ready to go. You know, if we had to do another lunar orbit, if we had to do a recycle of an engine, um, and we didn't have to do any of that. Over the next two weeks, Blue Ghost 1 will conduct several experiments. We don't get to take a break, uh, we just roll right into it. Ten experiments developed by NASA, which will help pave the way for humans returning to the moon. These include drilling into the surface, and even photographing an eclipse and lunar sunset. Now this mission's gonna last two weeks. At that point, night will fall and the electronics aboard the lunar lander are likely not to work under the freezing temperatures of lunar night. In Cedar Park, I'm Eric Henderson.